Hello and welcome to Hot Money on Bloomberg Quint Live, India's first digital live streaming business news service. This is the show which gets you a complete trap of all the stocks that are buzzing in trade. I'm Darshan Mehta. Let's welcome our guest on the show. Joining us today are Raja Venkatraman of Chart Advice, Enes Vidai, who's a technical analyst and mentor, along with Kunal Parar of Choice Broking. Many thanks to all of my guests for joining me. Uh, uh, what's your sense, Raja? What's your view on Tata Power? Uh, the charts, definitely, uh, I don't agree with you. The reason being that the momentum continues to remain weak hmm. and uh, it has given a breakdown below 56, which was its key support. Uh, region. Mm. So, any uh, one would actually sell Tata Power at here, current levels rally towards 56, place a stop loss above 57 for a drop towards 51. Okay, so you're negative on Tata I'm Power. I'm negative on Tata okay, Power. Okay, and that is Tata Power, but let's begin with the first round of chart with our guest. Uh, Raja has a view on escorts this time around. Remember, this comes ahead of the auto sales numbers which will come out now, but off late, auto stocks have been rather. Uh, doing well for itself, but uh, yes, uh, what's your sense? Why are you indicating a buy on escorts? Yeah, like Ashan, like you rightly said, auto stocks are showing some revival, and the charts of escorts has been on a steady decline over the last uh, seven months, and now this stock has actually given a nice breakout above this trend line. This is a strong trend line resistance above which uh, the stock has managed to close, and for the last three days in succession, it has managed to hold on. And even today when the markets are witnessing some decline, the stock has managed to hold on to its higher levels. Now if you open the lower panel, I have taken the help of uh, the RSI and I am seeing that uh, there is a nice um, revival and also a divergence, uh, positive divergence seen on the RSI as well. And which is clearly moved above the 50 mark which suggests that there is some positive outlook which one can maintain in escorts. So in combination of the price and momentum, it looks to be a good bet for the long side. Okay, so it's at 495 currently, 490, 430. Uh, what's the sense, uh, what's the ideal strategy that one has to follow? You could buy at current levels, you can use dips towards uh, 475 as a additional buying opportunity, place a stop loss below 460 for an upside towards 535 and 560. And what's the timeline you see this coming? Yeah, to? within the next 10 to 14 trading sessions. Okay, so it's a quick mover that you see on escorts. Yeah. Okay, thanks so much for that, uh, Raja. Uh, Raja, are you negative on the Bank Fifty? Yeah, I'm in agreement with NS. Uh, the region around 28,500 has been a key uh, Fibonacci resistance area, also a value resistance area. So around those levels, the Bank Nifty has never really been able to make it. So uh, I can expect some more decline coming into Bank Nifty. So a stop loss above that would be the best opportunity and you can use rallies towards 28,300 hmm. as a rally sell opportunity and the downside you can expect around 27,300. Let's start with the second round of charts uh, with the Raja uh, and this chart is on Dixon Technologies. I don't think we've covered this stock before on the show but uh, nevertheless uh, uh, it's, it's managed to come down significantly from the highs of 4,500. It's at right. 2,600. So what's the sense? Yeah, uh, the stock after its uh, strong decline has been in a sleeping mode for quite a while. And you can see here the stock has spent sufficient time in consolidation. And now uh, we are seeing here some long body candles on the weekly chart, which are clearly confirming that there is some bullish interest which is developing in this counter. Along with that, if you see in the lower panel, you can see here I have used the momentum indicator ADX DMI. And I can see here that uh, the green line is now hmm. inching higher, which suggests that the bullish interest is now stepping up into this counter. So price action combined with uh, the momentum action which we are seeing suggests that uh, we could look at some more upside. There's a nice consolidation breakout with long body candle which clearly suggests that uh, buyers are favoring this as a hedge against their selling position. So there's a nice uh, investment opportunity here. Okay, 26, 25, what should one do? What level should one buy? One could buy at uh, current levels, use declines towards uh, 2,500 as an additional buying opportunity place a stop loss below 2400 for an upside towards uh, 2950. Raja, what's your sense on MK Global? Yeah, over the last few weeks, uh, MK Global has not been showing much of action. And uh, from the way the overall momentum setup is also looking, I am not uh, seeing any favorable response. So I would uh, be an avoid in this counter. Okay, and what's your strategy? Yeah, I am uh, bearish on metals and uh, Tata Steel uh, has been witnessing volume on the decline even on the higher time frame charts. So that every rally at current levels or on higher levels should be used as a selling opportunity, is my opinion. Okay, that's the view that's coming in on Tata Steel.